YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. You got it locked to Television 87. You're hanging out with your girl Telly right now. I'm back with another video for you guys. If you are new to my channel, just stopping by for the first time, do me a favor. Hit me with that like, that thumbs up button, and make sure you smash that subscribe button for me, all right? So we can get more people to the Television crew. You can see what's on the screen right now. If you guys have, haven't heard, Floyd, May Floyd Mayweather has been in the news uh, for the past maybe like two days, but for two different reasons. So I'm going to break both of those down for you guys. The first reason he's kind of been trending is because he refused to take a picture with a fan at a basketball game because the dude had painted nails. Now, of course, there's a hoopla and an uproar. Floyd Mayweather does not have to take a picture with anybody that he does not want to take a picture. Whatever the reason is, is whatever. If you think it's ridiculous, it is what it is. He said, hey, I'm not trying to take a picture with no dude with painted nails. And he just kept it moving. So now people are upset. So this, uh, this is the clip of exactly what happened. So I'm going to play it for you guys. And you see, he called him a homophobe, but like, I don't know what was that necessary. What do you guys think about him making that remark? <laughs> You guys saw that first, bro. Floyd doesn't want to take a photo of me because my nails are painted. I mean, it is what it is at this point. That could have went way left. Floyd could have said something really out of pocket. Could have got up in the guy's face. All he did, all he did was simply say, I don't want to take a picture with no guy with painted nails you got painted nails like oh well <laughs> I mean as the world turns uh, uh, it's it's just like okay yeah you a Floyd Mayweather fan he didn't want to take a picture with you because you got painted nails but it's not like it's not like he said oh you know I hate you or you're a terrible person or you know he just said you know, no thank you. I'm going to keep it moving. So this is obviously you can see from the shade room. So I'm going to get into some of these comments. Um, I'm Zoe. You guys know him from Wild and Out. Um, you know, and social media. He says, baby, I just smile and wave at celebrities. Someone said Boosie must be proud right now. He worried about this to Floyd, May Floyd Mayweather. He worried about painting nails when his daughter finna be locked up for about 20 years to irony. Child, that's a different story for a different day. But Yaya Mayweather about to be, could be locked up because she, um, over that whole NBA young boy situation, chasing behind some dusty Negro. Oh, well. Celebrities would be nowhere without fans, though he's not obligated. Insulting your fans is bad for business. Period. But but was it really an insult though? He just said, "I don't want to take a picture as you got painted nails." But was that necessarily an insult? He didn't call him a name. He didn't do anything like that. I don't. I don't believe that that was necessarily insult mm -mm -mm. let me go through some of the rest of these comments um and I get it yeah fans do come up to the artist they admire whatever and whatever field they may be in in the entertainment industry but I understand 
it, but sometimes like it it just is what it is you may not always catch the person that you look up to whatever you admire you may not always catch them how you think you're going to see them you know how many stories have are there out there of fans running up to their favorite singer or whatever and then the singer kind of like pays them does or to, you know they have like a weird encounter like a bad experience you know those things happen but like I said it could have been worse it could have been worse I don't think it's about him saying no to the picture but saying it's because he has painted nails is weird <clears throat> Yeah, Boosie and him must be in a group chat together or something. Why can't it be his right to choose who he wants to take a picture with? Wow, that's not okay. This is... It's just a lot. Like, there's so much going on. It's like a lot over little, little things. Like I said, that, that could have went way left. He could have got... And he could have got in his face he could have had his security like pick him up and take him away he just said hey look I, I ain't trying to take a picture with you because you got pain in nails I'm, I'm gonna run that I'm run it back I mean that was it he was like nah nah you know I ain't trying to do that but like I said it could have been worse let me know what you guys think about this that particular issue so now we're going to talk about floyd Meth floyd mayweather and the whole kyrie irving situation now he did express support for kyrie and sent him a video message here's the clip kyrie what's up i know you're going through a lot we had a chance to hang out in 2016 when you represented America, when you represented the red, white, and blue, you only want to be treated fair. Um, I was going to post something on one of my social media pages, but I decided to do it the old school way and read it out to you because you're a great person, great father, a uh, great athlete, and you believe what you believe. America is the land of the free, freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and supposedly freedom to choose. Never be controlled by money, I respect you for having some integrity and being your own man. A free mind makes his own choices and a slave mind follows the crowd. Stand for something. Kyrie, what's up? For something or fall for anything. One man can lead a revolution to stand up and fight for what's right. One choice, one word, one action can change the world. It's crazy how people hate you for being a leader. I hope your actions encourage many others to stand up and say enough is enough respect to you Kyrie and power to the people all right so that's the clip you know just showing support for Kyrie hey <laughs> these people are so petty they're getting getting on him about him reading because child he's not he's not the best um we all remember that um, that clip that was going around some years ago where he was struggling to read. That's really not funny, but people are always going to bring that up. So, um, it, like, it, you know, it's just about the freedom to choose, to be able to make a choice, to be able to make a choice. Somebody say he just wanted to prove the 50 cent he can read. Damn. Um, it's, it's a freedom of choice. Like, I don't even know what else to say. And just, like I said, just because somebody is not interested in getting the jab does not necessarily mean that they are anti it. So, let me know what you guys think about that message to Kyrie let me know what you think about him declining the photo because of the fans painted nails thank y'all for watching if you like this video hit me with a like a thumbs up button man and uh, don't forget smash that subscribe button for me all right 
it's your girl telly television 87 is the channel and i'll be back with another video for you guys soon until then peace